Hello and thank you once again for taking some time out of your busy schedules to join me for this short time of prayer and reflection. Wherever you are, whatever you're doing, I hope that you realise the height and depth and breadth of God's love for you, demonstrated so fully in the life, death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Our short extract today is taken from John's Gospel, chapter 21, verse 16. Again Jesus said, Simon, son of John, do you truly love me? Amen. In the film Fiddler on the Roof, there is a touching song when Topol and his wife sing to each other, Do you love me? Each asks the other the question, Do you love me? And they receive back the reply, Yes, I love you. Loving and being loved is one of the most beautiful and affirming things that can happen to you. Jesus loves us unconditionally. His love is healing, affirming and forgiving. Simon Peter had denied knowing Christ three times before his trial and crucifixion. He was ashamed, riven with guilt, and probably wished that the ground would open up and swallow him. Jesus had called Simon Peter the rock. He was to be foundational in establishing the early church, and at that moment, the moment of his denial, that foundation looked pretty shaky. Jesus asked Peter three times, do you love me? And giving him a task to care for my sheep, i.e. those who would come to know Jesus Christ as their Lord and Saviour. Christ named Peter in each of the three exchanges he is not so much interested in asking Peter if other people love him. He is asking Peter, do you love me? A direct personal question that required Peter to search his soul and respond truthfully. Love is central to our faith as Christians and disciples of Jesus Christ. God's love for us our love for God, our love for our friends and family, and indeed our love for our enemies. The love Jesus has for us is definitely affirming, wholly forgiving, totally restorative and unconditional beyond your imagination. Some people think that God cannot love them, that there are too many wrongs in their life. Christ's capacity to forgive and love you is infinitely greater than any guilt or shame that you might bear. And I tell you, if Christ can love me, and I know that he does, then be assured that he can love anyone. And may you know the incomparable love of Christ in your life, today and forever. Let's pray. Loving and merciful God, we thank you for your unconditional love, available to all, to all who would trust in your great name. As the knowledge of your incomparable love permeates our very hearts and minds, Help us to love you as we are loved, to love others as you love them, and to love ourselves. And now the Lord's Prayer, taught to us by our loving God. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. 
Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. ever.